Yes, everybody, I'm moving to ITX. What we're gonna do is strip out the parts here, give them to Sexy Tech, and that will be a completely separate video. So stay tuned for that one as well. But we're gonna put this motherboard, the ASUS ROG Strix X570 iGaming motherboard into here for now. Uh, one, budget reasons, two, I have to figure out what my cooling solution is going to be as well. I would like to put in the EK Phoenix either 240 or 280 into an ITX case. So that's going to take some modding, so stay tuned for that. And that's going to actually determine if I'm going to water cool my parts in an ITX build or if I'm going to just go straight air. So with all that being said, Let's dive into getting this into here. Now here, these sticks right here are 3600 I got those to match up with the processor when uh, when I got it but the motherboard does not support it so I had to down clock it to 3200 but these are the G skill rip jaws and uh, these should do very well in the motherboard that I have That is insane with how big this cooler is compared to the motherboard itself. Wow, that is absolutely crazy. Now let's apply the RAM. It looks like I probably should have done a little more homework on this. So I'm not sure if that RAM is gonna clear this. Hey, it does. Woo. When building an ITX machine, homework is king. Look at that clearance. Woo. That is crazy with how close that is. Really, really crazy. When looking at your heat sinks, things like that, Pay attention, please. 
Okay, let's move on to putting this into the chassis and getting everything all connected back up. There you go, that's the upgrade to black and blue with the Asus ROG Strix X570i gaming motherboard. That's not a mouthful, I do not know what it is, but that's what it is. Uh, replacing the Crosshair 6, I do have to say that the BIOS on the iGaming is different than the Crosshair um, 6 here. Uh, different voltages, things like that that I've noticed that I have not seen or have paid attention to if it's even on the Crosshair 6 BIOS. So I have a bit of tweaking, a little more on the processor to get it where I want it. I will do a video about that if you'd like that. If you'd like that, please put that down in the comments below. Also hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and hit that notification bell. This is Chris saying out.